The Infotrain Eon Storage GS Family product is a unified storage system that integrates file level, block level, and cloud gateway into one single system. The Eon One is a web-based management platform. Users can manage the Eon Storage GS system via a web browser. This video will demonstrate how to operate the Eon One. Before you start, please make sure the Eon One host and Eon Store GS are on the same subnet. Enter the default IP address 10.10.1.1 of Eon Store GS in the browser to access the login screen. The default username and password are admin admin. If this is your first time using Eon Store GS, the Eon One will automatically detect and enter initial setup wizard. The wizard will assist you to complete initial setup with 7 easy steps. Please remember initial setup wizard, you can switch between setup pages with previous and next buttons and exit the wizard with exit initial setup wizard. First is the firmware update. In the firmware information field, we can see the current product model and firmware version. We recommend you to obtain the latest image file from the Infotrain Service Center and select the update path. The system will restart after installation is complete. If your device does not require an update, press next to continue. Second is system settings. You can set up system username, password, time, and DNS server here. Here we will demonstrate with a new user password and add a DNS server at the bottom. Enter the next step after the process is complete. After system settings is complete, we will provision the storage space. If you are using a redundant model, then the controller mode needs to be selected in this step. In symmetric active active mode, two controllers will simultaneously access the same storage space. A symmetric active active mode will need to assign the storage space to each controller. Here we will demonstrate using symmetric active active mode. After specifying a pool name, select hard drive and create a RAID 6 pool. Click add a volume at the bottom and create a 100 GB file level volume. Click next. Fourth is channel settings. Users can configure and check connection status and channel type of every channel in channel settings. Please note that if you plan to use file sharing services such as CIFS, FTP and NFS, please make sure one channel is configured as file level type. If you switch channel type, such as from block level to file level, then as Eon Store GS needs to redistribute system resources, the system will restart after the last step. Next is the network service page. This step lets users choose which protocols to enable, such as CIFS, NFS, or FTP. We will demonstrate how to connect a shared folder with CIFS this time. Make sure CIFS protocol is enabled. Next, we will import domain users and group via AD or LDAP server. We will demonstrate how to import accounts via Windows Active Directory server in this step. Please make sure the DNS server you added previously is the same as the domain controller DNS you want to add. Enter IP, username, and password for the AD server and click Fetch. After selecting domain controller and DC address, click Next. The final step is summary. The system will display all previous configurations on the screen, using the scroll bar on the right to browse all configurations. After confirming everything is correct, click Start Initiation to run Initial Setup. Initial Setup may take some time. You can click Close to run in the background. After Initial Setup Wizard is complete, the Eon One main page will be displayed. It is separated into five areas. First is device information. Here you can see basic status, product name, and firmware version. 
Real-time status of processors, memory, SSD cache, and system space is shown on the right. Displayed at the bottom are volume, file shared folder, user, cloud volume distribution, and system real-time events reports. As such, the Eon One main interface lets you have a better grasp on system status and information with its simple operations. Now let's check channel settings. Click settings on the Eon One main page. Choose access. From the channel network page, we can see the IP address, connection status, and channel type of each channel. You can change the settings for management port and host channel here. After confirming the channel's IP address, we will configure shared folder access rights. Click Settings in Device Information on the left to enter Settings menu. Click Privilege. Switch to Shared Folders page to add a new shared folder. After selecting the required protocols, enter the necessary information such as folder name and shared name, then confirm the volume where the folder will be located in. Next, switch to the Privilege tab to configure user and group permission settings. We will choose the domain user of the AD server previously added here. Click Save to save this addition. Finally, you can enter data port IP address on file browser from the same domain to access the login window. Enter user information to log in the shared folder to start using the data sharing environment brought to you by the Eon Store GS.